my name is Emilio Pasto. I'm 21 years old and I consider myself an Italian Montrealer. It kind of means everything to me. Um, it kind of determines the way I behave, what I'm interested in, uh, what I eat, also how I uh, spend time with my family as well. We don't want in the future to lose all these very important traditions that make uh, us uh, Italian. My name is Michael Del Bosso and I'm a sociologist. I was born in Italy, so I am what we would consider a first generation immigrant and came here in the 50s, late 50s. We can speak about two main waves of Italians to Montreal. The first wave would be before World War I, when many came largely to be here as sojourners, that is temporary. And there had been indeed even a, a large recruitment by labor agents, uh, so much so that uh, the federal government actually set up a Royal Commission inquiry to find out why so many Italians were here in Montreal. There was really not that much employment for them. However, many were working for the railroad and construction and had not necessarily come directly from Italy, but also from the northeast of the United States. And an indication of the presence of Italians in Montreal, largely living in the downtown area, is the presence of one of the first Italian churches, Madonna del Carmine, which was created in 1905. By about 1910, we had seen quite a move of Italians settling in different areas of the city, in one particular area would be the area which today is known as Little Italy, and which in 1910 already had a church, uh, Madonna della Difesa. Uh, so that already indicated a strong presence of Italians. There were services available. There was a place of employment. At Catelli, the pasta maker was not far from here. And so they uh, basically we started seeing a community that had its institutions, that had its services. The main influx of Italians is really after World War II. And that started uh, about the 1950s, actually after 1948 when the government of Canada had um, eliminated the clause of enemy alien for Italians. This opened the doors to Italians coming. My name is uh, Luigi Pasto. Um, I'm a teacher and uh, I guess most importantly I'm a, a father of three. My parents both arrived here separately on two separate ships around 1960 and they knew each other from, from the old country and uh, so they, the intention was that they come here and get married and they were finally married in 62 but then they decided to go back. My dad wasn't crazy about being here, particularly the winter, he talked a lot about the winter. Things were really tough in Italy, it was still 60s but it was still post World War II Italy and eventually they ended up coming back here and we were born in that time between them moving back to Italy and then moving back here. Well the first time and the first place we really lived in was right around the little, little Italy area. Um, so it was around Jerry Park, I think the name of the street was Drale. This is where we grew up and the reason for that is because my mom's sister and her husband lived there, so my cousins lived there. And they were the ones who I guess sponsored us and, and allowed us to, you know, get our footing here in this new country. We were 10 people, maybe more. In a house? No, in a duplex. Cinque ore e eravamo cinque noi, perché la, ma, la mamma di mio marito è venuta dall'Italia. Un anno dopo mi sono messa a casa. One of the first areas that many Italians came after World War II was certainly in the area of Little Italy. However, certainly this area of Little Italy was not sufficient to accommodate the many thousands of Italians that were coming from the, in the 50s and 60s. And so we start seeing other areas of the city that were also having a strong presence of Italians. So you start seeing this movement going, going from one first area of settlement to another area of settlement. And gradually what you start seeing is also the move towards what starts becoming a suburb at the time for Montreal. For example, saint Leonard. Uh, gradually contractors were starting to build houses in, in the area and mainly houses that would accommodate or be of interest to the Italians. The multi-unit uh, plexus, the triplex, the fiveplex, which Italians could would buy also because it would serve them for uh, having rental income and so they could pay off the, ho the, the, um, the house as, as early as possible. The second factor is also that it would have certain characteristics that would interest the Italians, say the cold room, where they could put their, their wine or uh, their cured ham, i.e. the prosciutto, uh, and such. And they would have a place for a garden where they would grow their tomatoes in the summer and things like that. 
Abbiamo una candina per fare salsa che do mio figlio, mia, facciamo sa, uso, la salsa e mia figlia si porta. Allora ci abbiamo, facciamo i lavori per i nostri figli. Non solo per noi, che se fosse per noi, <laughs> tu dirigi io. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, I'll definitely see myself continuing these Italian like culinary traditions like making tomato sauce and uh, producing wine because I feel like it's not really about the outcome, it's more about the process and it's a very traditional process. It's very, uh, it's very important to spend time with your grandparents to kind of even learn how, how to do these things. You know you're an Italian Montrealer when you spend a lot of time with your family, when uh, food and eating is really, really important and spirituality always has something to do with your daily life.